Yeah. All right, Josh. It was a pretty close race. Yeah. Um, seemingly all the way through, there were you know two, three guys off the front for you know the middle half of the race. Yeah. And you were kind of leading the. the Big chase group. Um, how were you able to catch them? Uh, mainly on the descents. Uh, we, were, we were keeping a really good pace. Uh, we, were, we were struggling at work for sure to catch, catch the main group. And uh, my director told me to come up where to attack. And, uh, I did that. It was a good move. Uh, I would have liked to uh, gone a little longer, but it, it was a great move. And I'm happy with the result. And I look forward to uh, continuing. Um, did the weather bother you at all? You were running through rain, cold, hail. Yeah, uh, no, I'm okay. Uh, the weather was rough, but it, it played to my advantage. I knew I knew a lot of people really weren't willing to take risks, and uh, I had a great opportunity of being here. So uh, I, I, took, I took quite a bit of risk, and I uh, ended up in a good split. So on the, the longest climb, I started ahead of the guys, so I was able to go a little easier than that. That, that was probably what made the difference in the end, but you know, hopefully next time first. And then you had a pretty good finishing stretch with Ian Boswell, who also came through the program. Yes, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy from Oregon, um, and I lived there for a while. But I, I attacked him on St. Nicholas, and he had great legs. And, kept going, so uh, hey, maybe we'll get to uh, race together pretty soon. So this is your first race with USA Cycling? It's, yeah, this is my first race with USA Cycling. It's, it's got to feel good to put this kind of result up. It kind of vindicates everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm really great, grateful for the opportunity. Marcello really didn't give me any directions except for he wanted to see what I could do, and uh, I hope I show up. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.